to Perth to face them. So Matt Kenyon was a big part of this tonight, and he finished with 14 points, a new career high. He joins us now. Matt, congratulations. Uh, is that the best game that the Jack Jumpers have put together? Hey, fellas. How you doing? Um, yeah, I mean, it was a great game. Uh, it's, it's hard to say if it was the best game we've ever had so far, but 40-minute uh, effort from the boys, so, yeah, it was really good. Matt, Liam here. A great effort. So we'll talk about the scoring in a sec, but the defence, the effort on Bryce Cotton, limiting his opportunities to shoot the ball. What was the focus for you coming in? Uh, just to make everything hard for him. Uh, just like all the great scorers in this league, Bryce is one of the best. He's been doing it for a while. So, um, yeah, just making everything hard, uh, fighting over every screen, and then blacking it, and then uh, our blacks is showing hard. So um, just making everything hard, and then the rest of the boys really helped plugging the floor letting me know that they're right behind me. So it's not just me, it's a collective. And um, yeah, the boys really helped me out tonight. And I'm a fan of you, Matt. You do. You are a, a player that I would hate to face and I would love to play with. And I wish the best for you personally. I hope that you get an extension because let me tell you, you are worthy of it. Thanks, Congratulations mate. with Appreciate everything you do, doing, man. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. Matt, can you tell us, I, I was there when you played your first home game against the Cairns Taipans and they won big. I was there when you almost lost that game and needed overtime to beat Brisbane. And this isn't the same team I'm seeing now that I saw when I was in Hobart for those two games. When did it change? How did it change? Uh, I'm not sure when it changed, but I think we just found our identity. Um, even in the New Zealand loss, we were moving in the right direction, I think. Um, even though it was a loss, we felt like we were getting back to our identity in the jack jump for basketball. Um, just how we play, just gritty, getting after people. So, yeah, it's, it's great to be back playing like that. Matt, Scott told me during the offseason, he said, it took me 54 years to find my sweet spot. And he's talking about arriving in Tasmania. What, what type of a basketball and a life situation is this for you right now with the jack jumpers? Oh, it's, it's an amazing culture. It's almost indescribable, to be honest. Um, it's very hard to find a culture like this in professional basketball. There's a lot of things that come into play uh, being a professional athlete. And to be in this position, I'm very grateful for Scott and the rest of the group. We have an amazing bunch. So, yeah, it's su super excited to be here and hopefully I can be here a little longer. Well, you're a little bit worried at all, Matt. You played a couple of years prior to going to Tassie in the Ambiel, just weren't able to get yourself into a team and stay there. Were you worried that it wasn't going to happen for you? Was this like a last roll of the dice at all? No, I don't think so. Um, I've always had faith in myself. Obviously, games here and there, your confidence goes up and down a little bit, but deep down, I knew that I belonged here, and uh, I'm glad I can show and keep building on that. Matt, double-double tonight for Josh Majette, 11 points, 10 assists. We talked about him as being the conductor of the orchestra tonight. The way you guys move the ball, it starts with him. What's he like to play with? Amazing. Jet's a great leader, um, even a better person. So, yeah, love playing with Jet, and, uh, yeah, can't say more for him. I got one last question for you. Yep. How influential has Mika Vakona been with your team? Yeah, Mick is unreal. I mean, he had a great culture, pretty similar to here when he was in New Zealand. They won a few championships, so he knows what it takes. And um, he's not always here, but when he is, we really feel it. Um, so, yeah, I, I can't really say enough for Mika. He's been unreal. And, Matt, just before we let you go, can I ask, a lot of people came into this season saying, well, Tassie did well, they overachieved, they made the championship decider last year against Sydney. They can't replicate that. They can't do it again. It was a fairy tale. <laughs> First year, a little bit of luck here and there. But on what we've seen tonight, look out. The Jack Jumpers are legit. 100%. we just got to keep building. Yep. Well, we appreciate your time. Great game tonight, and good luck for the remainder of the season. Appreciate it, fellas. Thanks for having me. Career night for Matt Kenyon, and wow.